What's going on everybody? My name is Tuck. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to episode 9 and probably what appears to be the last episode of the Black Ops Cold War campaign, at least according to the evidence board on the game, which you can't see because it's behind this. Deja vu from last episode, I know. Um, if you guys want to hear the dialogue from Cuba Briefing, because I talked to everybody in Cuba Briefing, check the link right above me. That'll take you to episode 7 where I did all the dialogue. I'm not going to redo it. I'm going to hop right into the mission. But before we hop into the mission, I'm going to ask you guys to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment telling me how you think it's going to go, how you think it's been going, and anything I can do to get better. In the meantime, face smash, ten of them. We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up, down, up, down. And assuming things are going to go how I think they're going to go, that is the final 10 push-ups we're going to do for the Black Ops Cold War Let's Play. Hope you guys have been doing them with me at home, or at least at the very least keeping me accountable. In the meantime, let's hop over to the evidence board. Completed everything else. Collected all the evidence. Yeah, there's evidence for this mission. Not gonna look at it. Uh, the movement of Theodore Hastings, the key sleeper agent through Perseus, led to Cuba just south of Havana. Perseus apparently set up a facility for an own purpose. It appears Perseus required Hastings to utilize the green light nuclear device that had, he had stolen in Germany. Alright, launch mission. Uh, you were about to hunt down Perseus and Cuba and no longer have evidence for it. Yeah, yeah, I did everything. Hastings left Salt Lake City and tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved a nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't going to happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, sky hook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. It's not a very solid plan. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you guys. There's no backup plan that was clearly identified. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about. Spark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. Alright, I have a Tundra and no backup weapon other than my 1911. This gate's open. Can I just turn around and leave? I could, but they'd get mad at me. <clears throat> All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell So we're in Cuba. Is this the map from Havana? Not Havana. What's the map? Go, go, go! It isn't. The mansion map in BO1. I can't remember the name of it. I have a sniper rifle. Should I be breaching and clearing with a sniper? Why am I the one opening the door? Give me this AK. Like, legitimately, why am I the one that has a sniper? I guess for this reason, right? Apparently that missed. Apparently that was a hit marker. There's a lot happening, and these snipers are in very weird places. Oh. Roger. I'm sure they are, dude. Oh, they are on the move. Like... They push through the smoke. 
you know, because that's how that works. Dude, the fucking AI and this is so brain dead. Excuse you. What? I'm out of ammo, my AK. What in the hell is your name? Old Zapfell? I'll much gladly take a fucking red dot, dude. I already have a sniper, I don't want a fucking ACOG scope AK. You guys have really. Boring names. I'm kind of assuming these are just fucking people that work at Treyarch. I'm gonna fail this mission just because my enemies keep- my teammates keep running in front of me. circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, partner. Again, not a ballistics expert. I don't think that wooden table would protect us from an AK. We killed three people. That is a very modern coffee machine, though. Holy hell. For 1981 Cuba, that is a very modern coffee machine. That's a... Yeah, I was gonna say. Bell sweep for mines. Sweep for mines. Is there like... Do I get the perk? Do I get engineer? Or do I just have to fucking take a guess? Oh? That guy pre-fired me. That bookcase just moved. Interesting. Do I get to... No, we're just gonna pretend that bookcase didn't move. Roger. Nice piano. Guys, I don't think that's all the mines. Could be wrong, though. Apparently I can disarm that from that far away. I should be dead, dude. The AA, the... I think one of my teammates just walked into a mine. Which, you know, fair play. I guess I did do a bad job at clearing all the mines. That guy just tried to, uh... Yeah, that guy's definitely shooting us with a Stinger missile. Which is an air missile. Which needs lock-on information, but... That's fine. Little things, little things. Dog, you are annoying. I think I just also realized that I never turned on... Aim assist, because I'm playing on controller. Smile, check the top right corner for my controller video. I never turned aim assist back on from when I was just shooting bots last night, so... The last two episodes I've played, I have not had aim assist on controller. Yeah, I know I'm hurt and I'm getting to cover. I don't know where they're shooting me from. They're still above us.
Do we go back out here and kill them? Or like... I guess they just died because plot. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. They would have found him eventually. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27. That bullet didn't hit the camera. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's Help. move. Meet you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh? I'm just going to call it. These two have developed a relationship, which means one of them is going to die. I'm calling it right now. I haven't watched anything about this game, haven't played this mission before. I'm just going based well, off of what I know it. about plot points and plot twists. Use the C4 for what? It's a fucking metal gate. Just shoot the lock. Honest to god, a fucking breaching charge on this thing would kill people. Like Adler, we're moving to the second floor. Again, I'm not a ballistics expert, but I just don't think that's the way that should go. But anyway, yeah, one of those two is gonna die. That's my bet, at least. These guys have no armor on. They're taking an insane amount of bullets. I'm moving. My game also keeps skipping. I don't know why that is. There's just something going on my game does not approve of. I also have no shadow. What is this computer connected to? Molotovs? Nah, no thanks. Alright, I shot the sniper before he killed the scientist. I got an achievement for it. Yeah, my game keeps skipping. I don't know why that is. So real quick, I'm going to do over here. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to minimize that. I'm just going to exit out of that. See if that helps us at all. Let's go. Nope, didn't help anything. I'm still skipping. They're really hunkered down. We must be getting close. Take out that heavy MG. I already did. Let's go. Why is this room here? Twenty-seven B, Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Park. You did not wait for me to help clear that. Oh my God, these. Canvas the room. Canvas the room. He wouldn't have left without the nuke. Talking. Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Health stint. Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. What a great fucking back door. He'll wipe out half of Europe. Son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No contact. Chopper coming in low. I'm sure that was supposed to be super sad. Why does that gotta be Perseus? Ton of reinforcements circling. It's got 
Chopper's coming in low. Perseus is already here. Yeah, I'm not supposed to get on that apparently. Time to go. No? Contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move, move! Adler, we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. I'm moving. I would love to open this door. Damn it, door is dead. Clear! Out of the way! You're not gonna fucking told you the door is gonna be locked, bro. Oh, so we've went from it's gotta be Perseus to it could be Perseus. Got it. We went down a level in DEFCON. Out the window. Out the window? The fuck you mean? He said get to the... Oh. Roger, dude. And let the fucking guy that... Prepare for Skyhook. Dog, what the hell's going on? Holy hell! I think I'm ready for that drink now. Back in, oh, well, that Jenkins is fucking dead, just like Halo CE. Jenkins, you good, bro? Oh, Jenkins is dead as fuck. I prefer this one. Yike a Roonies, dude. Nice throw, Park. I, I, yeah, I can't fucking peek. Oh, I get an AC-130. Epic. Uh, that wouldn't clear the roof. That would fucking destroy the building, but... That's also danger close as fuck. So, I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Take cover. Shit. I also kind of feel like that would be a little bit harder to do than that. Bell? Ah. Ground team, My legs. Contact in T minus 10. <laughs> Yep, I knew it. They're gonna make us choose. Yep. Yeah, I knew something like that would happen. Lazar might not have died, but he may as well be dead. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. That's ominous. That leads me to believe they know something I don't, and I'm the main character. Come on, a little further. This is where the shit hits the fan. This safe house is compromised. They're gonna try to guilt trip me for saving Park instead of Lazar, probably. There's some other shit that's gonna happen. Sims, get the gurney. Park is the one that got blown the fuck up, and she seems better than I do. 
I'm the one that saved Park, and she's just fucking over there, like, with, like, a dislocated shoulder and a bandage on her wrists. I'm on a fucking gurney, bro. Bell. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Yeah, you probably have a concussion. You're walking well, fine. More than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. That smile was fucking scary. Oh. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping Perseus. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn, through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? I have a weird thing with eyes. That's I'm gonna sure fucking traumatize me. me. Yeah, Bell, I hate it. Me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we said. Oh, that's gonna bug me. I hate it. We had a job to do. Fucking Christ. I hate this game, though. Not only is the story fucking predictable and not that engaging, they just fucking did the one thing I hate, which is anything involving eyes. Perseus in Vietnam. EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. The bunker, Bell. What does the bunker mean? Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another weapon. <laughs> Definitely was another weapon. However, I will take that. Considering this is water, I can't lay down. My nose itches. Well, bad news, boys. I'm out of fucking ammo on my M16. My game is still skipping. You say so, dude. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. What happened to my home dog that was literally just alive? Did he just have a heart attack? Yep, 
Yeah, this is where the game gets mined, fucky. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Does that say? Bloke? So it's a mind fuck. Right before this, Adler's telling us what we think we said. And the guy, Perseus, is saying, do not trust Adler. So, do we not trust him? This is some Stanley Parable bullshit, bro. I'm gonna go left. I've already broken the sequence. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm hiding behind a tree. Give me one second. At this point, I don't even know if there are right or wrong choices. Because if I look down there, where did that take me? Because that's the right path. It takes me to the same place it has to. The zip line nearby was the best way back to the cave. He wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Yeah. I'm just having fun not listening at this point. Bell. Turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Breaking the fourth wall, cool. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. They stirred up a horn and said, you need chopper support, ASAP. Roger that, chopper inbound. ETA, two minutes. Someone tells me if I keep not listening to him, I'm going to die on the operating table. Where did my MP5 go? Wow, that guy's invincible. Either that or I literally shot every bullet into the house. These houses are made of thatch, bro. I literally would not be surviving anything. I should be dead as hell. RTB, Roger Dodger, dude. That is so fucking loud, though. Oh, that's an American radio, so that's a problem. What are you guys doing? You just hanging out? Fuck yeah. Strong Wolf Wolfinger. Alright, if you say so. I guess I'll push through. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Conveniently placed right after that, Roger.
Christ, what's happening to him? A mild seizure. Sims, can you hand me the benzodiazepine? The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success within advanced communities. We've got a job to do. Let's up the dosage and run 1B this time. Okay, ready. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. I'm so lost. Is this fucking bow hit scan? Dog, I've never had a fucking hit scan bow before. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Dude, the 1911 has more bullet time than the fucking crossbow. Or not the, the, the recurve bow. It has more bullet travel time. It has a higher fucking ballistic. Maybe that's true. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is this bow hits instantly. TV, yep. Video camera, yep. Some broken leaves, yep. Wheelchair. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. So if I just continue to not listen, is this going to keep going? Oh shit. Or, like, is this game just gonna get infinitely harder since I'm not listening? Stop fucking around, Bell. Back up. This is so fucking weird. The zip line nearby was the best way back to the cave. He wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. I'm sure he did. There's Lazar. All right, well, Lazar, just turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Yeah, I know. I just I want to do this. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now he's running eleven. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Wow. All right, sick. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now he's running 11. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Roger, Dodger. Ah! 
Inside the house hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. <laughs> Would I? I don't feel like it's safe to walk into this. A lab? That doesn't sound right. Bell's in the lab? All right, Cox, then. This isn't working. Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, though. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Uh huh. All right, that's us. This is so mind-fucky. I'm glad it took almost the entire game for the fucking story to get interesting. Another dose. We'll keep rerunning scenario one. Bell, we've got a job to do. I wouldn't advise that. I didn't ask. All the VCs are Adler now, got it. I'm starting to notice the trend. This is some Far Cry 5 mindfuckery. Just keep running the simulation until something happens. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Nah. Stop fighting me, Bell, and go right. Go back and take the right path to the bunker. No way, Jose. I want to see how long this lasts. Is my game still lagging? Part of the fucking the meme. Take the zip line down to the river. Bell, go back to the zip line. The bunker is in the caves. Go. Do I not get the option this time? Is it going to force me to go to the bunker? Or take the zip line? I think I'm being forced. through here? Nope. It appears I'm finally being forced to take the zip line. No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave. So where does this take me? Why is Sims? This is scenario seventeen. A tunnel? You okay? You pulled out your sidearm and flashlight. <laughs> okay.
And we're playing zombies now. What in the fuck is going on? Is this what I get for not listening? I have to play zombies now? I hate zombies. What in the fuck is this game devolved to, bro? Am I supposed to die? Stop lying, Bell. Start again and tell me how you met Perseus. I feel like I was supposed to die. Door's locked, can't get in, bro. Sorry. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. There is no door. Give Bell another injection. That could be do it now. Bell's heart rate is already those lines of dialogue over. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Argument is a sick fucking beat to it, bro. Where's the drop? Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. What happens if I play this? Nothing, he doesn't say anything if I play the game. Very interesting. Uh, 904. Got it. Why is Bell Phoenix? Turn around. Why is Bell Phoenix? Yep, still 904. Let me slide cancel my way out of this bad dream. Homie, oh, you haven't told me what to see. I don't know what to listen to or not. Yep, still 904. Four times on 904, Roger. Turn around, Bill. I don't wanna. What happens if I just keep going? Is it just a loop? Does this go on forever? My game keeps fucking skipping. I don't know why. Yeah, whatever. I'll just... We've been off script the entire time. We've been through a lot of trauma, both real and imagined. We have no leads left. We'll push until we get what we need or Bell dies. Hmm. We've known each other for years. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. Been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. 
Is that the key phrase? Is that this game's version of Would You Kindly? We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. Bell, open the door. He's getting mad. Tell me about Perseus. Ah, it's gonna make me. What happened in the bunker, Bell? As much fun as it is fucking with him, it's gonna make me go in. Imagine if I could just leave. and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. Oh yeah, I'm getting the picture now. Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. Yeah, that's what that was. That's this game's Would You Kindly. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Alright, so they captured me from the first mission where I'm playing as Mason. Got it. They retrained my brain. Everything else is a shit show. It's a twist. It's definitely a twist. I don't think it's as good as Black Ops 1's this twist, but it definitely is a twist. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves Trabzon, he is stopping in Duva. This you know. 
Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duga alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. I, I see. I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. So they left the we paperwork there. behind? We found you after everything went down. All right, Roger, I see now. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. All right, makes sense. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No yourself lucky you've only had those memories for a few months me I've been living with them for over a decade are your hands clean Bell interrogation didn't work with you but thanks to MK Ultra's research we had a backup plan if you believed you were someone else we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up enough to get us where we are today but we're not finished yet We have a job to do. Bell, we've got Come a job. On, we've got a job. Come on. We've got a job. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. Yep, this is exactly the same as the real as the reveal from Bioshock. Your innermost. Would you kindly? Locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done. Yeah. To you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. My geography this of Western is Europe isn't that fucking good. I don't know where Solovetsky is. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 I'll tell the truth, even if they are, like, my enemy at the base of it, everything. I don't want to fucking set off nukes in Western Europe. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. I don't think that's true. I also don't think I'd be fucking a. I don't think I'd be a functioning human after that, dude. Perseus, the CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. As the United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in this every cut seems beautiful. city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. Look at the boys. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. The 
loud. That ends now. The final countdown. I'm going to have to cut this episode. I was not expecting it to keep going on for multiple episodes. This recording session's already at an hour. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna have to cut this episode here. We'll do the final countdown, which I'm hoping is the final mission because I'm running out of space on my hard drive for this game. Not really, but oh my God, this recording session's over an hour long. I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.